everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm in a quite a different background right now and I'm in a different setting. I'm in my pyjamas and I'm underneath a blanket. Just because today I thought I'll do a little get to know me life update video. My cat's right there just meowing at me by the way. So if you hear meows that's why. So I realised that I've been uploading and my first video on YouTube was just a makeup tutorial and I never really did a who I am, get to know me or a QA and a or anything like that. So today I thought I'll just, I'll just answer a few questions that have been unanswered and that most of you probably don't know the answers to. So if you are interested to know who I am and what I do and who Tatiana Correa is, then keep watching and make sure you subscribe because I'd love for you to be part of my little YouTube family. So as most of you know, my name is Tatiana Correa. I'm currently 18 years old and I study BTEC Level 3 Science and I'm just about to enter my second year. I'm a part-time worker in Tesco. I, I work pretty much all my life since I was 16. Obviously it's only two years, but that's since the legal age that you can work. I've been constantly working since then. I did A levels um, in two thousand and what year are we in? Two thousand and fifteen. Um, I got bad grades, but I mean, I got into the second year. But I decided, you know what? What I want to do isn't going to work with the A levels I was doing because at the time I was doing geography, biology, media, and drama. No, French, Biology, Media and Geography. And obviously with those A-levels, I couldn't really progress into anything. I couldn't do anything else. Um, I couldn't do what I ended up really enjoying, which was Biology. And I've been loving science since I did my AS in Biology, which is why I decided at the end of my AS year to drop out and go and do a BTEC in college. So I'm currently, I've just finished my first year of a Distinction Star, Thank God, it was quite difficult. People always think that BTECs are easy, and trust me, they are not. BTECs are really, really difficult. At least for science, it is really difficult. So, I'm really glad that I was I managed to pass with a distinction star this year, and hopefully next year, I'll pass with a good grade too. <laughs> um, so obviously this year, I'm going to be I'm going to start looking at what universities I want to go to, and I'm so excited to just start. A career if you know. also if you're wondering why my makeup looks like um, another video's makeup it's just because I'm bulk filming today and I'm kind of digging this look see this is the problem I never plan videos I and mean, I just never know what to say in the videos I just film I just press the camera and then I just press the record button and then I'm just like so what do I speak about now I don't really know let's search some Q&A questions on Google. Let's see what people want to know about people. I've got no battery, I need to charge it. Oh, oh crap. Nearly fell off my bed right there. Get to know me. Oh. Get to know me. Q. Get to know me questions. There we go. What is your name? As you all know, my name is Tatiana Correa. What does my name mean? Tatiana means the queen of the fairies? Is, is that what it means? Oh, that's a good question. Where are you from? So my parents are actually from Portugal, Madeira, which is where Ronaldo's from. Um, but I was born in the UK, in London. I was born in the UK, in London, um, but I am Portuguese nationality wise. I currently live in London, just like I said. I was born and raised in London and I currently live in London in North London. My star sign is Aquarius. I was born on February the 5th, 1999, which obviously makes me 18 years old. My favourite music genre. This is quite a difficult one because I'm Portuguese, 
but I'm more into the Spanish music. I love reggaeton. If you have not heard reggaeton, you need to go and listen to reggaeton. Reggaeton is amazing. It is such an uplifting genre that just makes you want to smile and want to dance. And it's what I listen to every time before I start work, just because it makes puts me in such a good mood that it just makes me happy and want to work. That's weird. Anyway. Favourite food? Ooh! My favourite food. I don't really have, I don't think I have a favourite meal. Um, but, I love chocolate. Does that count? I hope so. I don't know. Favourite drink? Do you know, as weird as this might sound, water and, oh, nearly hit myself in the face. Water and sparkling water are my favourite drinks. I will have sparkling water with every meal and water throughout the day. It's just, it just makes me happy. It just keeps me hydrated and does what it needs to do. Make sure I'm not thirsty, right? But, favourite alcoholic drink, if you've watched my video of the who knows me better between my boyfriend and my brother, you would see that I mentioned that my favourite drink is, um, what was it again? Jack Daniels and, Jack Daniels, is it Jack Daniels? Yeah, Jack Daniels and Coke. However, my feelings have changed recently. I am now in love with the Serrano and Coke. Absolutely love it. It tastes like cherry Coke and I'm living for it. The Serrano and Coke, my new fave. Favourite holiday? Well, I've only ever been to holiday to um, Madeira with family and I just went this year with my boyfriend. Um, obviously, you... You must have seen the vlog from Barnard Castle, which was an amazing, amazing weekend away. I can't wait to go back. I'm not sure my boyfriend wants to go back, but I can't wait to go back, so. What is something you were talented at? <laughs> nothing, I don't think. I don't think I'm talented in anything, to be honest. Like, not, nothing that not everyone knows how to do, if you know what I mean. Something that I wish I was talented in is singing. I love singing and I wish I knew how to sing because I'm crap at singing. Very crap at singing. What is the best compliment you have ever received? This is quite funny because I've been receiving quite a few compliments lately um, at work. Weird enough. I don't wear makeup to work at all. I go bare face, nothing. No eyebrows, mascara, nothing to work. And the amount of compliments I constantly get of you look so pretty or you're so beautiful and it just makes me so happy because it makes me think I don't need makeup to feel pretty. And I know that makeup isn't something that everyone does because they feel ugly or they want to look pretty. Most people do it because it's an art and it makes them express themselves. But to me, I can express myself without the makeup. And if I look pretty to other people without makeup on, I don't need a mask over my face to make me feel good about myself. I will do makeup, honestly, there's a, there are days where I'm just like, I miss doing makeup so much, I want to do an eye look. Just like the video that I filmed before this one, I cre created this eye look, which is a press glitter eye look that I've never done before and I thought, I really want to do it because I've never done it before. So there are different times where I do feel the hype of wanting to do my makeup, but I never feel pressured to have to do my makeup just because I feel ugly. And I think that's very important for everyone. What is on top of your bucket list? Oh, so if you also saw my um, boyfriend beast brother, who knows me better video, you'll see that I've always wanted to go bingo. And no, I haven't gone bingo yet, and I hope to go soon. But that is definitely, um, something that I really really want to do. Quite um, an important question there is here is one thing you know now that you wish you had known as a kid or if you could give your younger self any advice what would it be and honestly it would probably be take your time. Um, I've been in and out of relationships since the age of around 13-14 and I do regret it. I do regret 
not giving myself time. I'm currently in a stable relationship with my boyfriend, nearly been together for two years, but I wish I gave myself more time to just love myself. And I think that's very important for, for young girls out there, and boys to be honest, to just give yourself time and not to think, oh, you need to be with someone because you really don't. And I wish I knew that back then. I always had people telling me it, but I never listened to them. But yeah, that's all the questions I'm gonna answer today. I hope you guys know a little bit more about me. If, if you have any more questions you'd like to know or for me to answer, leave them in the comment section down below. Um, all the tags to my social media will be down below in the description and any other links to anything that I find useful. My body shop group is there also. If you want to buy anything from body shop with big discounts, it will be there. Um, as well as my Facebook group, which you can go join and have lots of fun with me. Um, and that's it. Make sure you subscribe, like, and as I said, please comment and share this video if you can. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you soon in my next video, which shouldn't be too long. See ya. Bye.